Hello everybody, welcome back to Top Farm. Right now, you know, my wife is about to get a dog's a bath. Would you like to get a dog's a bath once a week today? Even with a flea collar on, uh, fleas are still attracted to them, so we gotta give them a bath once a week. And, uh, normally I walk them up the street before they get a bath, but today I said I was gonna walk them through our property. Uh, this is open space on our property. And, uh, so, and I was thinking uh, the other day, I was thinking about uh, doing a video on what I think God is and uh, what I think about religion. And uh, not to offend anybody who's religious or who claims any kind of religion or anything like that. You know, that's that's fine and I'll find a well, but I know most people who claim a religion or something like that, they don't even participate in the religion. They, just say that, hey, you know, I'm a, let's say for example, because Christianity is the largest religion out there. Say, oh, I'm a Christian, but they don't do anything that's associated with Christianity. You know, as far as like going to meet up with the groups or, you know, actually practicing what the religion says. Because all religions, I think, you know, the doctrine that they have is, is good. But it never really seems to uh, pan out that way. It never really turns out what the people who practice with the religion are truly about. But the, that's the edge of our property right there. <laughs> that's it. But, uh, it stands pretty far on both sides. But uh, you know, most people who practice the religion or whatever, they never really get out of there. They never really about the religion, but. That's what I think about all religion. They're really, they're really cult. Really, if you really participate in them, and uh, none of them really, really promote individualism, or none of them really. I don't see how any of them really help your life. I mean, it might help your life as far as becoming a conformist or something like that, or conforming to a standard, or meeting with a group of friends. You know, that's what it's good for, but other than that, I just don't see the benefit in religion. I don't see how religion, which is man-made, is going to help me get closer to the universe or the creator of all or, you know, or God, a.k.a gold oil and diamonds i don't see how a religion is going to help me get close to that i think religion in the modern day sense was uh is used for pacifism to pacify people because uh in the beginning all religion was banners were were banners of war that's what religion started as you know so the Christians started with the Knight Templars, and uh, they were war fighters. And, and uh, Islam started with, you know, some war fighters. <laughs> and Islam still has a lot of war fighters. Then too, I was thinking about uh, Jesus. And, you know, Jesus is life. Oh, you gotta take your little dump on, buddy. Everywhere he go. Don't film the dog taking a dump. What is wrong with you? You're something gross. You want to film the dog taking a dump. That's nasty, though. But why you want to film him taking a little dump? You never know. Dump. There might be people out there that might like to watch dogs take dumps. No, no I don't, I'm not. I'm not thinking anybody wants to watch a dog <laughs> take a dump. But uh, look at Jesus. If you really stop and think about it. What's so different then? Uh, what's so different from Jesus than a... Uh, black man in 2017. <laughs> I mean, my wife was talking about that the other day. I said, hey, the life of Jesus was the life of a black man in 2017. So Jesus was slandered by the media. They just didn't have the media that they have today, but the media, media made sure to uh, paint a nasty picture of him everywhere he went. He, uh, he was hated and he had uh, 12 disciples and uh, one of them snitched on him <laughs> and got him killed and then 
he was nailed to the cross. <laughs> you know, there's a, a same thing going on with black men today. <laughs> Instead of being nailed to the cross, they be being nailed in the car on, 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 uh, by the highway patrol. <laughs> or they be nailed in the alleyway by someone who's supposed to be their brother. You know, supposed to be helping them. But, you know. <clears throat> and then too, you know, without there being any evidence that Jesus really existed, you know, the concept of Jesus might be plagiarized, might be plagiarized from Egypt, might be plagiarized from Heru and his virgin mother, uh, Isis, I believe. It's his virgin mother. And uh, the stories are very, very similar. And uh, Heru existed before uh, the, the time that dated that Jesus supposedly existed on earth. And so a lot of stuff is confusing even today you know religion causes a lot of uh war and a lot of division between people and then a lot of people aren't even focused on the god aspect you know with religion a lot of days with religion a lot of different religions you don't even pray to god you pray through another entity sort of like buddha or jesus or something you pray through someone else and it doesn't directly go through God. So, you know, you say, what is the point of religion? Well, I would say what I feel like the point of religion is, is for people who are in uh, bad circumstances in this world. And you got to understand when you're poor and somebody else out there, they have it all. You know, you need something to believe in. And religion is very good for this system because religion will make it where you'll be accepting of your poor, poor circumstances, even though there's someone else out there who are, who's doing exceedingly well. Um, and also it, it's good for group support or like you go find your group, family, whatever church you go to or whatever. And uh, that's like your extended family, people that you can talk to about your problems. Plus it gives you hope and something to believe in. But the question is, is it real? And uh, I'm pretty sure there's a million and one people who will give a testimony about, yeah, it's so real. I wonder what's over there. Nah, let's not do it. You know, yeah, it's so real. I had this and this and this happen, but uh, I noticed a trend with that too. That, that a lot of times the people who are testifying that this and that is, is real, they're making money off of religion. And so that's another aspect that you know, I, I don't like about it, you know, there's people out there, you know, doing that religion thing and they're getting paid very well for it, you know, but do they deserve it? I say, yes, they probably do deserve it because they're hoarding the masses of people and giving masses of people uh, something to focus on and something to be good about in their life. And, you know, I really think of like uh, religion as a way for a motivational speaker. To, uh, come help people. So, but do were I subscribe? Uh, what? Baby? Were those uh, wild plums you were talking about? Okay, I'll show you on the way back. Do I subscribe to religion? No, I don't. Uh, I do submit myself in, in, a, in a belief of uh, one God, sort of say, gold, oil, and diamonds. I do have one higher power. Uh, I do believe in a higher power. I'm very spiritual. And uh, I believe that my higher power is everything that you see. So, my higher power is everything you see and that you can't see and beyond. But my higher power is this grass that we're walking on. My higher power is those trees. Uh, my higher power is rain. My higher power is uh, sun. You know? Things like that. That's my higher power. The moon, <laughs> the stars. So, do I subscribe to uh, a religion per se? No, because for me in my life, I don't find that religion is good and I don't see where religion uh, truly helps people. I mean, from my perspective, and everybody see Everybody has a vision and they see through 
their own lenses mean that, you know, what you see in life in this world, in the larger world, is different than what I see because we all are our own world. Every person is their own world. So what we see and our needs might be different. You know, as far as me, I do believe my ancestors protect me and watch over me. And, uh, you know, that my ancestors who, who it took for me to be born in this earth, you know, had a certain level of care for me. And I do believe, you know, there's a higher power that, uh, that I pray to and I pray for the higher power of blessings. And I do, do believe uh, in casting spells. I believe in casting spells. I believe your words are casting spells. I believe that's why uh, I'm very careful with the things that I say. Uh, generally, I try to wish a lot of blessings on the, on the people that I care about because I feel like when you speak, you're able to speak things into existence. For example, if you say, you know, I am going to pass this test. I am going to pass this test. You keep speaking and you're going to pass the test. You put in the work. You go in there knowing you're going to pass the test. You come out, you pass the test. You know, or I am going to have a successful business. No matter what, it might not be successful that day, but as long as you keep saying you are going to have a successful business, you're speaking that into existence. And when you speak it into existence, then you'll will it to, into existence. You speak on it, you know, you pray to your higher power source. And, you know, unlike different religions and stuff who don't believe, who have somebody who subscribes to a religion, and they talk about another religion, they say, oh, you know, if you're praying to Jesus, then you can't get any power. Well, I... I say that's that's not true because you can look around and see there's a lot of people who pray to Jesus who have a lot of power. But you can also see there's other people who pray to Jesus and they get gunned down in the streets. So I think uh, you know if your religion uh, lines up with your ancestry, it may be doing a good thing. But if your religion isn't native to your uh, ancestry, but I feel like maybe you should go see what your uh, <coughs> ancestors believed in. You know, not knowing that, you know, me being a uh, black, uh, I don't really know who my ancestors are as far as the beginning of the time, you know, because uh, all the documentation was distorted and change you know i could be i could be an indigenous person my, my bloodline could be indigenous and my grandmother used to tell me that you know we were blackfoot indians <laughs> that's what my grandmother used to say and you know i, I laugh right now but i don't know if uh i know i did put out a video of my grandmother in her last life the last of her life but my grandmother had very different hair she had a uh, she had straight hair uh she looked like a my grandmother looked like a real native american but did i buy into that you know i have my my PBK. own theory i have my own theory about you know how black people ended up in america and in my theory, it wasn't all through slavery. All black people didn't end up in America through slavery. I do believe some black people that were here in America were already here, that they were indigenous people. But uh, as history gets distorted, it's all about who gets to tell the history that gets to write the history. If you have no part in telling the history, then you know, your history is lost. And just like with any other society that existed, with any defeated society, how much do you know about defeated societies unless they were Roman 
or Greek. But uh, there's also orders, orders out there who teach Egyptian history. But if you learn Egyptian history, who knows if that's your history, you know? Who knows? So it's very difficult. It's, it's, uh, it's all different type of uh, understanding out there for melanated people about history and culture besides slavery. But what I don't like is, uh, is when slavery is trying to be erased in the, in, the, in the books. They're trying to make slavery disappear like it didn't happen. And how they're trying to do that, trying to do that through books. So we're seeing that they put out a new edition of a, a history book, a new, a new edition of a history book. We've seen this and it became a hot topic. Uh, but in this book it, uh, that they were teaching the children, they tried to make it seem like slavery didn't happen in America and that, you know, black people came over here as indentured servants or some, some kind of weird way. And there was a lot of parents who, uh, uh, a lot of, you know, black parents who, and this was, this was in Texas, by the way, that this book got published and, and introduced to the school. They wanted to see how it was going to work. Uh, to uh, try to wipe out uh, slavery from American history. And the reason why, you know, it would be beneficial, why it would be beneficial to wipe out the history of slavery in America is because then they would say, oh, you know, you've never been treated wrong in America. There's no reason for you. Uh, the reason you're failing right now, it's all your fault. And, you know, it has nothing to do with lack of funding in your community or or it has nothing to do with uh You're at 17. Jeez, these videos go by fast. My goodness. You know, one thing about it, I enjoy uh taping these videos and putting out my thoughts, but uh they definitely move very quick. And it's like I don't think, you know, I have 17 minutes worth of information to put out on a video, but it's always there. Once I get to speaking, it just comes out, you know. It uh she told me the time. But, uh, if you make it this far in the video, we have a like page on Facebook. And uh, you can go go check us out at ALA Top Farms. I know we're not farming right now. <laughs> we're speaking on religion and, and not farming. But what better time to do a video than uh, walking our dogs and uh, time to reflect. Cause I know sometimes when we're doing videos on the forum, I'll be like, man, this, this is just get plain boring to always see like what we're doing out here. Sometimes the stuff is can be repetitive. It's just doing it on different days, but the task becomes so similar. Uh, the thing that's different is like if somebody out there is putting out a video about, uh, <coughs> you know, transplanting something, but we're not doing that. We're just doing old school farming. And sometimes, you know, I'm just like, ah, you know, we have a different activity going on today. Uh, I'd like to show that video. So, do uh, speak while we we have another activity going on that's different. But uh, back to back to the main topic. Also, you know, if you if you disagree with what I'm saying, don't think I'm attacking. This is not a video to attack religion. I'm not trying to attack whatever religion you belong to. Don't don't think that. You know, I'm not that type of person. You know, my aunt is a Christian, and my grandmother died. A Christian. She, matter of fact, she till recently had a picture of white Jesus, uh, the old school 1950. She till recently she had her picture up of white Jesus. And so I'm not bashing anybody's religion. I just feel like, you know, being a part of an organized religion isn't gonna help you. Especially as a melanated person, you being a part of a organized religion has no has no help for you. It's not gonna <laughs> you you being a melanated part person and part of an organized religion isn't gonna stop you from being getting gunned down in the streets, you know, for a, a traffic stop. You know, what starts out as a traffic stop it ends with you dying. <laughs> That's not gonna stop that. Matter of fact, what I've seen. From organized religion, whether it be uh, what's all them Hebrew Israelites or you know the more science or you know Christianity or 
Islam, any of the religions. What I seen is uh, if you're a black person and you're subscribing to a religion, it gives you a reason to hate other black people. You just like, you know, uh, I'm part of this religion and your religion is wrong. How about all the religions are right? How about that? Yeah, if it's saying something good, it's right. Whatever religion it is, when it's telling you something good, it's right. We were all born with everything we needed from the creator already implanted inside of us in our DNA. That's why we have DNA. And with that last video, in this one right now, you're at 20 minutes. Okay, so, you know, all the religion you need is imprinted on your DNA when you're born, you know? So, that's how I feel. You can study these, this stuff, the books and stuff, to get knowledge, you know? The one thing, you know, I wanted to get more knowledge on is uh, Buddha. I wanted to learn more about Buddha. Not too big with the witchcraft. You know, that's more of a European thing, uh, the witchcraft. And I do believe that there's a whole lot of witches in society right now, but I'm definitely interested in Buddha. It's kind of hard where we're at. There's not very many Haitians out here where we're at to learn Buddha. And uh, I don't trust the Buddha that you're talking about on YouTube. I just don't trust it. <laughs> It's not real, it's not real witch doctor stuff. But, uh, yeah, I hate to make, I'm not making jokes at uh, Voodoo. I really would like to know some more about Voodoo. But other things, you know, shouldn't put a big, something so big of a uh, emphasis on, you know, religion and stuff like that. She just really My focused more. Hurting. Oh, huh? my back, I'm thirsty. My goodness, now this woman right here, she don't like the outdoors. It's hot. She don't like the outdoors, she don't like. How many times we can just slap? This is the last one, okay? <laughs> I won't say she's lazy. It's not lazy, she does things. She does work her own type of work in the house. But being outdoors, whoo, whoo. This lady, this lady right here, lady named Gina, my Gina, <laughs> she does not like the outdoors at all. And I these don't. dogs. Blue want to go and sit down somewhere. That dog tired. He want to sit down somewhere. He been trying to stop. And I got to tell you about these dogs too. These dogs are so pampered and live such a, such a pampered life. One thing we don't do, we don't run the AC though, so we can't say they're AC dogs. But, why are they lazy? These are some lazy dogs. But, I think because they're lazy, they're living a the good life. I'm being taken off subject by you, lady. Sorry. Get me off subject. So, what I wanted to say is, if, you, if you're a part of religion, and uh, leave a comment. Leave a comment saying what religion you're a part of and why. And how, do, how does that religion benefit you? And uh, I would like to know. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure for some people, some people need religion, you know? Some people are, they call people uh, in the uh, eye, of, uh, eye of justice where human beings are considered chattel. Not cattle, but chattel. And uh, it's basically cattle. And uh, so, you know, and human beings are chattel. You know, human beings like to be herded up and put into groups and find different people to uh, identify themselves with. So some people do need a religion. So there's other people who are free Huh. Come on, hey, I'm a little lazy. Come on, what in the world? <laughs> Told you. Okay, that's it. They tired. Oh, that's it. We gone. This dog just plopped down on the. Look. Oh man, we ain't even go nowhere. We just took two funky laps. I gotta tell you guys, this is this is the. Uh, America right here. This is this is a perfect example of America right here. Look at this. 
lazy. Just as, just as lazy as they want to be. But is it their fault? No, it's not their fault. We don't walk them enough. It's hot. It's hot. But see, my definition of hot and my wife's definition of hot is two different things. Me, I enjoy the sun being out. Get your get, get up. <laughs> Look at that. Instead of getting up, he, he plopped himself on the ground. Come on. Come on. We're going to go. We're going to go because y'all want to lay down and stuff. I think they're picking up on your vibes. They ain't picking up on my vibes. The blue bit wanted to stop. I got a blister on my pinky they, toe. They picking up on they picking up on your vibes. Hey guys, I know this video has been quite long. If you enjoyed the content, give us a like. More importantly, give us a subscribe and then please do make a uh, leave leave a comment. I know there's not very many people watching the videos, but at the same time, like I said, I would like to see. What, what religion, you know, any, anybody who has the time to leave a comment, what religion are you a part of? Why are you a part of that religion? And how does that religion benefit your life? You know, I, I have, uh, I've seen religious people like salesmen, they come, they go to door to door and try to sell you on a religion. But at this point in my life, I just can't be sold on religion. I've participated in a few and studied, studied several different religions over my lifetime. At the end, I found that you know, the books help me more than the actual religion. The religions are, every religion I've been a part of was hot garbage. And, uh, but the books had good knowledge and I still read the books from the different religions that, I, that I've studied in my lifetime. I still read and enjoy the books. And I still have some of the philosophies that I gained from the education in the books. I still hold on to some of those philosophies too. It's just some good stuff out there you know but the religion no way the hurting up with the people no way because then you have to have a human being who says he's not your judge being your judge yeah i can if i wanted a judge i'll step into a courtroom <laughs> <laughs> hey. all right guys we'll see you on the next video t-o-p womp 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 he sucks Womp, womp, womp. T.O.P. Holding it down. It was great. It's, it's going. Your short videos are like 30 minutes long. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video of Top Fobs. And today, we are walking the dogs. Them hot dogs. Hot dogs. They're ready to get on. They're ready to get on. Well, the reason why we're walking the dogs today is because we're going to give them a bath. But since we're still walking, just finished another video in a... Decided to make another video about what? Who knows? Maybe just my personal thoughts while we're walking onto our property. And, uh, checking. Oh, you want to check out those wild plums? Come on. They're over here. They're over here? Yep. So we got some wild... Ooh, dogs. Don't trip your mama up. We got some wild plums over here. They're not quite on our property. They're on the, they're on the uh, water department property. Which is right. Uh... Water department uh, property is adjacent to ours. And uh, here's one right here. This is a wild plum. It's pretty good too. Really, what needs to happen with this wild plum tree is all this stuff after the leaves fall. After the leaves fall off, it needs to be cut back. It needs to be cut back all the way to the main branch. Mm -hmm. And uh, these big ones, like that one right there. Mm -hmm. that, one can, that one can stay. Oh, okay. And, uh, so this is trend. Does this turn into like a tree tree, or like yeah, a bush there's, tree? There, there's more. It turns into like a. It's a tree. And this is scuffling right here. I mean, it could be scuffling, or it could be uh, 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 some kind of poison. Mm. Yet to be determined. That's something that has to be determined. Because they look the the poison looks similar to the scuffling. They look. Don't touch it. I I've never been allergic to like poison stuff. You never been allergic to poison ivy? No. Well, Some lucky. people are allergic to everything. I'm not allergic to anything. That's one of the wild plums right there. Let's try to find another one. What's so up, basically dude? what you look for is you, you look for like a, a reddish branch. And you can see this is like a reddish, reddish branch. And one of these vines wrapped around it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that kind of and it's extended like uh, wild shoots off of it, thin. 
like this. That's another one right there, right next to it, close to it. They're not producing yet, but they will in the future. Why am I out here looking for wild plums? Well, I'm out here looking for wild plums because eventually, eventually, you know, you know, we will go to the water department and see if we can extract some of these wild plums. So, something else you'll notice about wild plums is the coloration of the uh, of the bark. This how you would tell the coloration of the bark. The leaf shape is very different, and along the uh, along the stem and the stalk. It's very different. So that's how you can tell a wild plum. So you see it grows up into a little small tree, but it's, a, it's wild. So that's why it looks so, it looks straggly, but you see it's very healthy. Mm -hmm. But it, it's wild, so it, it, it's not going to be very big. So the plums that come off of those, probably about that size. Which you can sell them, but they're not going to be very big. They're not going to be like, if you trained it, nurtured it. Ooh, see. Okay. Now you're seeing what two of them look like. Mm -hmm. Is this a wild plum tree? No. No, it's not. How do you know? Because it don't look like it. It don't look like the one you were talking about. Okay. The color? The color in the trees the or the branches and the, the leaves. The branches and the leaves are very different. Yeah. That's how you can tell which is it. You okay? I told you. I got a blister on my pinky Okay, we're about to get out of here. Well, that's two of them. Maybe there's one that was going up looking pretty good. I know there's some more of them on the side over there. <laughs> you okay? He's playing around my ear. Okay. You saw him become a wild plum. Oh my goodness. You saw him become a wild plum. Mm-hmm. Seen two of them. Seen two yeah, that is good at stinging. What the? You crazy. <laughs> this is why she don't come outside. She don't know. Here go another one. Me. She don't know how to act outside. If uh you have if you're if you're a man and you're watching this video and you have a significant other out there who acts like that around uh insects, uh leave a comment and say what do they like to do. There. Come on, dog. Come on. There's another one, baby. Where? Right there. That red one right there, a short one? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. With a wild plum. So they're not being they're not being taken care of. That you can see that uh, all the other wild bushes are just growing up around them. They're not gonna be very strong. But if we excavated those uh, wild plums. And they show up like, I don't know if you were a child when you were a kid. I know when I was a kid, we used to go get the little wild plums. And they're, they're uh, little little red little balls. And uh, they don't get very big. And you got to eat a whole lot of them. But at the same time, if you eat too many of them, they'll be you kind of die real. You have the runs up in your poop. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really, they're really good. And, you know, as a kid, you know, you get them in the field. You didn't wash them off or nothing like that. You just ate them. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, you okay? Huh? You okay over there? Yeah, something just grabbed onto. I felt like it ripped my shirt. Wow. Oh shit! You need some water in the river? Come on, come step in this river. Come on, y'all get in this river. The water just flowing too. Get some down. I trust this little creek. The water, the water is always constantly flowing through here. And it's clear. Yeah, it's nice and nice and clean. So I let the dogs get a sip out of here. Now this dog right here sip too much. Come on. But uh, when we first moved here, I don't. We never did a video about this when we first when we first moved here. But this area right here, ooh, I gotta tighten it up. It's starting to sag a little too much. Mm -hmm. But this area right here, when we first moved here, was all like flood zone. And uh, this is one of the first jobs that I did. And look around, it's, it's held up pretty, pretty good. Matter of fact, it, it's uh, stopped. Uh-uh, get out of there, that water nasty. Yeah, as you can see from the job that I did, it, it stopped our little water flow. Mm-hmm. But uh, it wasn't flowing anyway over over here in that, that area anyway. It was just all oh, just a soupy, muddy mess. And uh, 
I took bucket loads and bucket loads and bucket loads. Matter of fact, I took a week straight. Now, that's all I did was bring bucket loads down here for a week. There's some videos of that too. There is? Yes. Yeah. There's a video of me bringing it down here? Yep. Wow, I can't believe we documented that. Remember, the, remember we did stuff. that video when I brought it down here? Oh yeah, yeah, we did a video of you bringing one load down uh -huh. here. But, I, but we have videos of you bringing it down here. I gotta say, now, looking back on it, Man, that was some terrible, hard work. But I'm glad I knocked it out first because the excitement of uh, moving in and getting it started made it where I was just excited to do that hard work. And like, if I had to do it over again, my goodness, because that was some tough stuff. And then the boots that I was wearing to do it in, they're, they're worn out. These boots are worn out too, but you know, those are even worse you know because it had a high heel on it had a, a high a wedge yeah it had sort of a wedge on these boots and uh with that you know, i was trying to see with those boots if uh you know i wouldn't snap my ankle with them which uh no, luckily I didn't, but I had to retire those boots. We found a repair shop, a shoe repair shop uh, the other day. And uh, eventually I will take those boots there because I, those are some really comfortable boots. They don't even need a sole in them to be comfortable. They're just very, very comfortable. And so we're at the end of our walk. I think we had a good walk. Yeah. Everybody's tired, my wife is tired. The dogs are tired. Uh, if this is your first time watching a video from us, make sure to go uh, to our Facebook page, ALA Top Farms. A L A T O P F A R M S on Facebook. Go show us support over there. You check out our different pictures. We need to get an Instagram. That's what we need. Because all we do is uh, on our Facebook page, take pictures. Yeah. So I think our Instagram would be better suited for that. Whew. Look at these hot dogs. These hot dogs ready to sit down. They ready to sit down somewhere. <sighs> ain't the hot dog. Yeah, they tired. Dogs are tired. Well, you know. Let's see what Fat Mama go go. Sit. That's that my dog. Sit. Now these dogs know what I'm saying. When I tell them to sit, they know. See? Blue. Sit. See? They understand. <laughs> they understand when they want to understand. But when you got a treat, they really understand when you have a treat. Mm -hmm. Without no treat, though, they somewhat understand. You want to take over and go get some water? Huh? Take over, get some no ma'am, no ma'am. Keep uh, videotaping. Why, why? Why? I need to do something. Get some water. I am thirsty. Okay. Well, guys, how long is this video? Um, all together, probably about twenty-seven minutes. This is the second video. It's the third video. This this video ain't twenty-seven minutes. No, I said all together when no, you put them no, all together. No, no. This, this video is its own minutes. video. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, pause.